More than 20 people are said to be dead and more than 150 injured after another alleged attack on civilians awaiting humanitarian aid in Gaza. But Palestinian and Israeli officials have each blamed each other for the attacks. As Israel called a new ceasefire proposal from Hamas, unrealistic. The incident occurs just weeks after more than 100 Palestinians were killed, and hundreds more were wounded while awaiting aid in Gaza on February 29, sparking international outcry. Palestinian officials similarly blamed Israel for the attack, while Israel claimed that Gazan civilians surrounded and looted the trucks, with a majority of the deaths caused by stampeding and Israeli forces firing, warning shots, as the crowd got out of hand. Israel has faced increasing scrutiny over its humanitarian efforts and the deaths of civilians since the Israel-Hamas war started after Hamas' October 7 attack on Israel, which killed more than 1,200 people. 31,490. That's the number of civilians killed in Gaza, at least according to Palestinian health officials. Israel is making moves to invade the town of Rafah, with Netanyahu announcing Friday he'd approved a plan to evacuate the roughly 1.5 million civilians living there ahead of an eventual offensive. The prospect of a Rafah invasion has prompted international humanitarian concern, as the town has become a gathering point for civilians seeking refuge from the war. It's also become a point of tension between Netanyahu and President Joe Biden, who has urged against a Rafah invasion. Netanyahu has vowed to repel international pressure and move forward with the offensive.